I sold vegetables when I was four years old. My dad was so addicted to alcohol that he used all the money he had earned on drinking. I have one older brother and two older sisters, and every night, my dad abused my mom after drinking. We kids helplessly see my mom getting beaten up every night. Dad was the only breadwinner. He didn't support the family. Most of the nights we went to bed with empty stomach. I wish there was more food when I was young. I would have been fat by now. I come from a strong Hindu family and believe in 330 million gods. And all of those gods gave up on us. When I was eight years old, my dad committed suicide inside our house by setting himself and the entire house on fire. I seen my dad die right in front of my eyes. And everything for me was over. I had no hope. My family was abandoned. But it was then compassion came forward. Compassion came forward and rebuilt the foundations in my life. The foundations of confidence, the foundations of family, and foundations of hope. Let me just take a few minutes to explain that. Foundations of confidence. I was enrolled into Compassion Project. The staff every day smiled at me. They gave me food to eat. They gave me all the educational supplies. And I wore my first ever shoe when I was six years old. The pastor came up to me and he told, Satish, don't you give up on life. Your earthly father might have left you, but there's this heavenly father. Jesus Christ was going to be with you all the time. This is the time when I thought I have people who love me. The second foundation, foundations of family. I was the only child sponsored by compassion. When I started going to church, so many things changed in me. One day my mom seen me praying inside my house and she thought I was possessed. She came over to the church to see what was happening. And my two sisters followed my mom. And they accepted Christ after a few years and got baptized. I accepted Christ when I was 14 years old. It was only my brother who told that there was no God at all. After several years of prayers, he accepted Christ last year and he got baptized. <laughs> Today, praise be to God. I proudly say that my whole family is possessed for Jesus Christ. <laughs> the third foundation, foundations of hope. And the most important, as an eight-year-old kid, when I stood next to that burnt house, I had no hopes at all. But it was my sponsors who picked me in one of the concerts, just like this child on a packet. They wrote letters to me saying, Satish, we love you, we care for you, and we have a picture of you on our refrigerator. And they called me their own son. What more does a child need who's just lost his father? I continued to go to school and I came out with flying colors and in 2011, I graduated with a degree in business management. And today I have a company and six staffs working for me. Praise be to God, my life has completely been transformed because of one act of love. Isaiah 61, 3 and 4 says, they will be called the oaks of righteousness of planting of the Lord and they will rebuild the ancient ruins and cities that were long devastated. In my case, it was my sponsors who chose me and who rebuilt those foundations. Today, each one of you will have an opportunity to rebuild one of those foundations in a child's life. Foundations of confidence, foundations of family, foundations of hope. Thank you.